Hey, hey, Hannah here for another little solo chat. Today we're having coffee and coming at you to talk about marketing. I know we talk about lots of things, especially on the Dream Life is Real Life podcast. Um, and if you're watching in the Facebook group, we do sometimes talk more about marketing. I am just feeling inspired to share with you something that I have really realized in the last couple of years in my online business. And I've been having lots of conversations with folks in my inner circle about this exact thing. So of course, that's always my signal to share it with you all, listeners and uh, group members here. So today I wanna really look at marketing hesitation. And what I mean by that is that phenomenon where we don't want to post or network or show up right? So often as business owners, we start in our business because we are experts at our art. We are experts in our field, whether that's coaching or photography or teaching yoga, right? And we really want to just do that thing. That is our zone of genius. And then we realize, well, in order to make this thing run, <laughs> we're going to have to also learn how to be a marketer and we're going to have to put our message out there, right? totally basics. And then we tend, I see this in about year three of entrepreneurship, where you've been hitting the sidewalk, you've been making the calls, you've been taking the action, you've been doing all the basic things. And then about year three, you get tired and you don't want your face out there all the time. You don't want to be networking all the time, whatever your marketing strategy is. This is not just about social media. This goes for speaking. This goes for leading trainings and things like that. So what I find is that there's this like plateau. I've totally been there. And most of my like inner circle has been there as well. Maybe you can relate to that feeling of like, oh, no, not today. And then that goes on for weeks and months. And soon you're just like, oh, right. That, that feeling of just like marketing fatigue and hesitation, right? Because it doesn't always feel like our top priority when we're running our businesses, when we have things happening that we need to take care of on the back end, right? Of like client support and building programs and writing our books, like all those things, of course, are way more attractive to us because that's what we want to be doing with our time, not marketing. I totally understand it. And at the same time, we know that every business is a marketing business. So I have a few super quick hacks or tips for you to overcome that feeling of hesitation um, when it comes to getting your message out there. So it really comes down to one thing with three steps. So the one thing, stop doing it. Stop doing your marketing. Stop marketing? What am I saying? I just said every business is a marketing business and I'm telling you to stop doing your marketing. Meaning you are the biggest bottleneck in your marketing because you're getting in your own way. You're worried about what people are gonna think. You're worried about what headband you're gonna wear on your Facebook Live. You're worried about all these little things that keep you back from just doing the darn thing. So, so often I tell people, just stop doing it. Get someone else to do this for you. It isn't about overcoming living beliefs or like tapping or meditating anymore. Like. You know you could go do it. You just don't want to. Okay, this isn't like a thing for you around the three-year mark that is like imposter syndrome. This is just that like, it is not your zone of genius. So let someone else step into their zone of genius. If you are curious what I'm talking about with this whole zone of genius thing, and you're kind of wanting to stop marketing, then I highly recommend you check out the book, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. It talks all about how to only focus on your core competencies, like the things that you are born to do, the things you are amazing at, and delegate the rest. Because again, most of us did not sign up to be marketers. We signed up to be leaders and coaches and trainers, right? So really, the, the, the answer to overcoming marketing hesitation is to stop doing it. Well, how does that look? How can we actually stop doing it? Of course, you can't just like 
throw it all to the wind and just stop doing it, right? It's F this S the clock, you know, those memes are there's like throwing the papers in the air and it's like, I'm done. No, 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 we're, we're gonna be strategic about this, of course. And we're even gonna expand your potential as a marketer, but not with you doing it. Okay, and so it's a three step process. The first piece is gonna be to brain dump. You know me, I'm all about this. The second piece is to delegate. And then the third piece is to turn it off, okay? So let's talk through what that actually looks like when you're ready to overcome all these marketing blocks and just get her done. So brain dumping, this is critical and like huge ROI, okay? If you spend a couple of hours now, a couple of days even now, getting everything out of your head, you will win back weeks of your life in the future, the compound effect of time that you're going to win back by just getting this stuff out of your head is exponential. So the things that you need to get out of your head are your ideal client avatar. You've heard this before, right? But you probably have some of your best clients that you can think about that you really just like want more of, right? Well, write down everything about them that you know and you remember like their pain points, their problems, their hesitations about working with you, all those like basic marketing things. Like go back to my market research podcast and re and rewatch that and learn all the things you need to know about your ideal client. You know it, it's in your head though. And we need to get it out of your head into just a Google Drive, okay? So I recommend you just start a Google uh, folder that's named so-and-so's marketing process and you start a document with like everything I know about my ideal client, okay? Simple, might even be fun. Go do it in a coffee shop or a brewery to really, you know, get your jam going. Then the other piece that you need to get out of your head is the process. So every marketing approach is a system. It's systematizable. Even if you think, no, like I just network or all of my leads come from referrals or, you know, I have to be the one commenting on Instagram in order to get clients. Like, what if, what if you were abducted by an alien and someone had to come and look and figure out how to get you clients, like how to run your business? write it down like you were abducted by an alien, okay? Where you log into things, how much time you spend, um, you know, where you start, you might even pull screenshots, you might do some like loom screen recordings to just document exactly how you do your marketing when you do it, right? And you can do this in real time. It might even inspire you to do some marketing this week because you're going to be in there documenting it. You might as well post some things or send some messages just to get it recorded. Because what gets recorded can be scaled, meaning if it's documented, you can hand this over to someone today. And even if they quit, great, you still have that documentation where you can hand it over to the next person. It's out of your head. And anything that lives only in your head, in your business, is abductable, right? Like you could forget it. You could, like, you want to get this stuff out of your head. So document your ideal client, everything you know about them, and then your whole system over document. If you're anything like me, you're going to have a whole outline and be super type A, um, and that's great. If you're nothing like me, then just screen record everything and save, save videos so that when you go to step two, which is delegating, the training exists. It's all there. The people that you bring into your business can just hit the ground running inside look at exactly what they need to do you're not trying to like communicate it to them or theorize it's just like here are the exact steps and here is exactly what it looks like again you guys i know a lot of you are doing like social selling right with um sending dms and engaging on social media like you can screen you can screencast that you can show what it looks like you can use some examples like here is my exact verbiage just document a whole bunch of the things you've already done um, same thing with content. If you are someone who makes some of your own content, but like, meh, like maybe you find other folks who inspire you and you document like, here's what I like about this post, or here's what I see this person doing that I would love to do. Because again, you are not the best marketer. You are not the best social seller. 
I guarantee you there are people who are better at this than you that can get in there and go a whole lot farther, a whole lot faster, okay? So document as much as you can. That's step one, brain dump. Step two, we're already talking about it, and this is delegating. Now, I get it. It costs money. It's scary. You don't know who you can trust, but guess what? You are costing your business a whole lot of money every day you don't do marketing. You are holding your business back, okay? So think about if you were, and we're going to talk about different levels that you can delegate at, right? But think about if you didn't have to think about what am I going to say? Or did I send my messages? Or do I have any podcast interviews on my calendar? If you didn't have to think about that, what might your superpower be able to do? Really, every day, every minute you spend worried about marketing is another opportunity that you've missed, is another book you didn't write, is another program you didn't sell, right? So I don't want you to think about delegating as this is gonna cost me money because when, as soon as you delegate, the way that you're gonna make that money back, the way that you're gonna afford that is by immediately shifting your energy into income producing activities right? Those exponential growth things that you don't have time to do right now because you're just worried about marketing. So what I mean by like exponential growth things is like writing your book or pitching yourself for your TED talk or elevating your website or like doing, like doing more podcasts, like whatever it is that you know is going to like move your brand, move your credibility and grow your audience or allow you to create another program that you can sell and earn money on. That is how you're going to really afford to delegate, okay? So don't think about it as like, this is a cost, this is more work for me, I'm going to have to deal with this person. No, this person is going to move your current marketing forward so that you can play in your zone of genius, get your clients better results, and innovate in your business, right? Working on the business, not working in the business is invaluable. So don't keep costing your business so much money by trying to be the marketer, right? All right, so how do we delegate? So it's really important you have all that clarity and all of that documentation in place, or at least started before you go out to find people that can start to take these things off of your plate. So I, welcome, I recommend most people start with an hourly virtual assistant, VAs. You've heard about them, right? They're very um, easy to find, like eager to do work. And they're so good at just doing it, okay? So a lot of folks I know do social selling, right? Where they like are so on social media and they're engaging with people and they're starting conversations. And like, if you're in your own way and you don't have time to be doing that, that's a very difficult marketing strategy to sustain. So think about if a VA came in, you paid them hourly and they just got it done. They just sent the messages. They just did the things. They didn't sit and overthink everything, right? You'd be playing a way bigger, bigger numbers game, right? So that's where most folks start is like with a VA. Other things VAs can do are schedule your content, post your content, send networking messages, send podcast pitches, um, put together pieces of your webinar. Again, any marketing strategy that you have can be delegated. So look back at what you documented and just take a look at, well, I could easily teach someone how to do this for X amount an hour and start with a VA just to get some of that grunt work done, right? Like those things when it comes to like really being on the platform or like really hitting the sidewalk, that's what VAs are great for. Does that make sense? Then the other thing that I highly recommend you delegate um, as soon as you were like back in the game, if you will, is the overall like strategy. So um, one of our clients, she came to us because she had a really hard like time. She, she went through a divorce. She was having just like a lot going on in her personal life. And she's like, I'm just not doing it. Like, I don't, I'm not inspired to write anything. I, I can't even show up. Like my energy is not there. Like I, I don't know how much longer I can wait for my own healing to allow me to be back in my business. And that is the perfect time to not just hire a VA, right? Cause a VA is just going to like crank it out. Right. 
But when you're in that place of just like, I'm not even gonna be creative about content or about my strategy or about new ideas, and that's really when, when you wanna find a copywriter or a marketing strategist or a combo of that, right? So when you get an expert in, someone who takes a deep dive into your brand beyond the brain dump that you did, and they can bring their perspective of you, you as the expert, you as the leader, you as someone who has got something new and different than what they've seen, um, that is really when you can accelerate your marketing and really get out of your own way. I mean, think about how, I mean, the, for me, this is super true. Like, it's really easy to speak highly of other people, but to speak highly of myself, especially on the world wide web, it's kind of uncomfortable, right? But like, I can write gush gushy posts about my husband, but like, I can't write gushy posts about myself. Well, think about that with your copywriter or with your team. They're going to be able to make you sound so much better than you ever would for most of us, right? Because we have imposter syndrome, because we overthink it, because we don't see ourselves. So there are lots of ways that you can do this. This is actually exactly what my team is offering now is like doing it for you, right? So we're doing done for you copywriting and funnels, which is where we take a look at everything you've documented, everything you've done, everything that's working for you, great. And we make sure that that continues. And then we also shed this light on you of opportunity of what you might not even see in yourself. And we start pulling out stories and we start pulling out strategies that are really going to work for you. And you might not even have been aware of, right? You might've been blind to some of those things. And what that also does is, so you've got a team doing these things, bringing you creative, posting it, keeping the you know marketing machine rolling. And then think about what that does for your energy as the business owner and the leader and the coach, right? You get to elevate to like Maslow's hierarchy of needs to like higher level thinking, right? You're not just down there like, how do we make money? Like run this marketing machine. But that's when you really get to step into your full potential and bring new ideas and live more with ease, right? Of like, what can we create? What better results might I get my clients? What book should I write? Like I said, because you're pulled out of the marketing stress and that's priceless, okay? So that's how you delegate. That's step number two. So we've done our brain dump, we've delegated and now it's time to turn it off. What, Hannah, you just said, like, create a marketing machine and, like, let it go. No, no, no. What I mean is you, as the business owner, turn off the noise. Delete Facebook from your phone. Use Newsfeed Eradicator. This is like a Chrome plugin. I think it works for other browsers as well. But if you just Google Newsfeed Eradicator, it will connect with your Facebook so that when you log in, you see an inspirational quote in your messages and not nothing else, right? You're, you're not getting wrapped up in what everyone else is doing and saying or, or even what you posted. One of my clients, she's so cute. We, we do all of her Facebook for her. And she was like, oh my gosh, I just logged on to Facebook and I have all these like great like messages coming in, like people who saw posts I didn't even know I wrote. And then my mom, she, she's on my email list. And she just said to me like, oh, like Lisa, I just got your email. Like that was so inspiring. You really made me think about you know, the topic that you wrote about. And she's like, what are you talking about? Oh, oh, right. My email. Oh, right. My Facebook. Thank you. She didn't even know what was happening because she had said it and forget it. And she's not in the day-to-day -day social media or responding to emails. Did I say, say this right? She's out of that. She's only showing up to the conversations where people are giving her feedback or saying, I'm ready to take action. So trust, once you have your systems in place and documented and you have your team rocking and rolling, trust that you can just turn it off. You know, really guys think about this, like seven figure entrepreneurs are not dinking around in the DMs. Their team is, okay? There are people to do that. There are people who love doing that and who just thrive off of that kind of communication. Let them do that if it drains you. Again, this is all in the book, um, The Big Leap by Gay Hendricks. Um, and I'm just bringing more into like how you do this as a business owner online. So turn it off, delete Facebook, like log out of LinkedIn, delete Instagram from your phone, like really trust it, set it and forget it. And just watch, even if this is like a month long experience, experiment, just watch what happens inside your little noodle 
inside your mindset when you have someone else hitting the sidewalk and you are not in social media weeds all day, every day. Just watch what happens. I cannot wait to see what you create, what happens for you when you overcome marketing hesitation by stopping, by not doing it, by giving it up. When you stop marketing and you brain dump first and foremost, and then you delegate second off, and then finally you turn it off and you just live in your zone of genius. So if you are with me and you are like, yes, a hundred percent, if I could get out of the day-to-day -day marketing weeds, I would be living the dream life and growing my business and impacting more lives and really in my zone of genius, then let's talk because this is exactly what my team and I are doing. I have brought together world-class copywriters and marketing strategists and even some VAs to help you just get marketing off of your plate. So I would love to talk to you a little bit about what your needs are. Where are you hanging out? What systems are working for you? What systems might you need to incorporate? And then how do we build a marketing machine that you can set and forget and trust that with our collaboration and your feedback, we are pumping out the content and the resources and the outreaches and all the things you need to create that online marketing machine. So you can stop marketing, go to dreamlifeisreallife.com slash connect, and we can take the conversation from there. You'll fill out a couple of questions. We'll see where you're at. And we'll just, you know, again, take a look. Like, I want you to know that our done for you copywriting and funnels program is not for everyone. It is for coaches who are at least at the three year mark in their business and have some momentum, have things going on, just want to get off of the day-to-day -day grind of marketing. And if you're not there yet, look, I've been at the beginning stages as well. I've helped coaches just get off of the ground. So I'm happy to share with you, you know, what your next steps might be, whether that's hiring a VA, whether that's documenting your systems, like let's, let's see where you're at because you deserve to be living in your zone of genius. So that's dreamlifeisreallife.com slash connect. And we can take a look at what could be done for you. Can't wait to see you there.